Hi everyone and welcome back to today's more report with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech Markets for Tuesday the 13th of May. My final chart of the day is gold and gold has been a very messy chart in recent days. Um, it's very difficult to really get a uh, a gauge of exactly where it's going to go on in today basis because it's been so choppy and um, this is over the past month or so it's basically been trading very much sideways up and down around this uh, 144 day moving average which has become the base of support on the downside uh, a couple of doji candlesticks there denote, denote uh, uncertainty and uh, a lack of conviction yesterday we saw a, a an attempted break back above 1300 that subsequently ended up uh, back to where we were before. It now um, looks as though there's a bit of an equilibrium price that's uh, being formed around about 1290 but uh, this chart is very messy and uh, it's it's punctuated by uh, a series of false breakouts and uh, moves to the upside that uh, don't really don't really continue uh, there's a lack of conviction as I said um, you would argue that uh, there's a resistance band between one uh, between 1300 and 1350 um, which actually capped the high yesterday at 1303.80 and also you'd argue that there's a band of support between uh, 1275 1276 and 1280 so that is uh, sort of where we're at at the moment, 1275 to 1280, up towards 1300 to 1305 seems to be where gold is, is uh, perfectly comfortable trading in at the moment, just zipping around in there and uh, not really giving any sort of conviction. So we really need to probably wait for a, a, a break above the 1305 or below the um, 1275 mark to really get um, a serious idea of where gold is going um, because otherwise I think it's just going to be um, characterized by a series of uh, false breaks or attempted false breaks and um, that sort of whip soaring of trading does not make for good profits because it means that uh, you're whipped in and out of trades and uh, it makes it very difficult so um, that is uh, the current state of play for gold all these all these moving averages are basically flat um, momentum indicators again just zipping between overbought and oversold with no real um, no real serious gauge of exactly um, the direction that we need to gain and um, yes so gold is back to pretty much equilibrium in the last few days it sort of has been trading around this 1290 level and not really made any decisive move so that is my outlook for gold um, as unhelpful as it might sound that is what we're looking at at the moment Okay, so I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I will speak to you tomorrow. Thank you.